It was another exciting weekend on the recruiting trail as we had roughly 50 commitments in such a short amount of time. It's wild, but we saw a whole lot of flurry of action. We saw Ohio State climb back to number one in the team rankings. Clemson's added to the best defensive line hall in the country. Tennessee's into the top five. LSU's into the top 10, so on and so forth. But Blake, what stood out to you the most in this flurry of action? Well, Mario Cristobal and Miami stood out to me the most. I mean, they are killing it in the recruiting trail. Mario Cristobal is a relentless recruiter. He's got Jane Wayne, who's a top 50 edge guy in the country committed. He's got Francis Maui Goa, the number one offensive tackle in the country committed. He's got an elite signal caller and uh, Jaden Rashada, who's a big time prospect. Uh, and another tight end, Riley Williams from IMG. So, uh, I mean, and more guys. I mean, he's got one of the top slot receivers in the country as, as well as Nathaniel, Nathaniel Joseph. So he's crushing it and recruiting. Miami uh, should be one of the top programs in the country. Crystal ball is exactly what the doctor ordered there. And if they can build a fence around IMG, not remember they used to build a fence around Miami with, with Schnellenberger and company. Well, now it's build a fence around IMG and you can win national championships because kids will transfer there from all over the country. So hats off to Mario Cristobal and Miami. It just shows you what a, a, the difference in an a elite head coach that's committed to recruiting and winning can do for a program that's been down. I think, Blake, Miami is definitely going in the right direction with Coach Cristobal. A commitment that really caught my attention over the weekend was Dante Moore, quarterback from Detroit King High School, committed to Dan Lanning's University of Oregon program. And the reason that it caught my attention is obviously Detroit is a long way from Oregon, right? And in, in addition to that, you also have had the uncertainty from what the conference situation is going to be at Oregon. And Dan Lanning showing that he can continue to recruit at a high level with that uncertainty going on all across the media I thought was absolutely amazing. And when you think about the job that Dan Lanning has already done with getting Cole Martin, with getting some of the other commitments there that he has, the staff he's put together with Coach Martin, Demetrius Martin, the father of Cole, with bringing in Tosh Lapoy back from the NFL, he's developing a recruiting machine. And no matter what's going on, you got to pay attention to what Dan Lanning is doing in Eugene, Oregon.